Yeah, and I think we we should be concerned about that to some degree. I mean, there's we saw what Facebook and YouTube and all that have done to the mental health of you know young people in uh, you know our country, in TikTok, Instagram, and I'm not saying there's villains in those companies. Uh, you know, they're all just people who are wanting to make amazing products, and some of the things haven't gone well. Some of the things are just you know sort of middle children of history learning curve moments but some of those things are uh awesome amazing tools uh, and so we have to balance all this out and knowing who's in charge of it because ultimately the ai is going to optimize for the outcomes of the person creating it and and what they want and so having that right alignment from the beginning and when everyone's talking about alignment it's not just about the alignment between the AI and the human race. There's also alignment between the creator and the customer and uh, making sure we have human to human alignment um, as we're adding that uh, AI. So there's actually three points, two humans or two companies and an AI. So you actually get a better through line instead of just two. Um, so thinking through who's in control of that is really important right now. Yeah. I would I would add to that a little bit also from another side or in, in my opinion are uh, if we we have exponentially growth right now in many areas into technology that is frightening on the one hand but it's also uh, a positive challenge I would see or would I would like to see the same challenge to us as humans because we have to change we have to change how we adopt and how we learn. We have to learn faster. On the one hand, for instance, in the school, you learn only to do all by yourself. You have to study by yourself, the exams, everything, and you have to be perfect in what you do by yourself. When you enter in the work life, you have to learn to collaborate. Most people don't know how to do that. <laughs> Most people are bad in this. And this is why we have so many problems around the world. And as I said before, we have to solve these problems because what this little planet is very small, in my opinion, compared to the universe. And, and it doesn't make sense that we are just constantly fighting with each other because it doesn't produce any good results. It doesn't produce prosperity. Yeah. And so um, I feel we have come a long way right now or since we started with technology and we still are in the same room of the people that have started technology, but it took us thousands of years to come even to the to the to have what we have today. And uh, when you, when I'm thinking about going backwards a little bit, when I started my career and I worked with Apple in Europe and brought Apple computer to the university, especially to in the medicine area, in the cardiology, I remember there was a professor where we had the first computer in one room and. Um, couple of rooms further down the road or we had our, another computer and I brought together the first phone net or to connect these two computers and we were screaming over the floor have you received the file so this is 50 years ago or 40, 40 45 years ago and now we are speaking about months <laughs>